When the swell put its arms around me, turned me into an overweight wrestler, kept me captive until it was time to juice me, squeeze me dry, it turned my life inside down. And out they raged. And when I sunk below, I said I was sad, not fed up. At 2.30 a.m., when my pupils were pinpricks and my belly craved cuddled eggs, I saw 15 baby cows. Their wellingtons squelched in the mud. I shouted for them to pull me out, but they tried to stop me. So I lay down with doubt. When I sat talking to the window, toppled over by the path, I sang for hope, but only three horses came. Barry, Snowdrop, and Bumper. People don't change. They just get bigger, said Bumper. When he gave up his superhero job for me, I said, too bad I hate being around people worth nothing, just as much as I hate three-tiered shoes and sequins on trousers and truth that smells like old lady false teeth. And I stuck my tongue out at the highs as they said goodbye. When dirty dishes and crumpled clothes lay like broken bones and forks without teeth and knife without edges sliced the cares on my cheeks. I prayed for hope, but it's going down a pit. I dangled possibilities and yesterday's dreams, but it wouldn't come out. When I fell asleep at 3 a.m. and woke at 3.05, smelling pan-fried tomatoes and planting spears on one of those gurgle along low days that gobbled me up where I sat, I couldn't imagine a life of pristine surprises. When none of the superheroes that came had powers and always left before dawn. Weekends were work and work days were torture. So I split myself into six to share some of me with all of them. Some ate, some kicked, some punched. When I put myself back together again, there was one piece missing. When one day met the other, before either had started or finished, and the gurgle became a moan, and the crumpled clothes became mountains, and the brandy became powder, and my sh cheeks were all shredded, and the days always stayed, and the nights never came. I prayed for hope, but there was nothing more to say. Mm.